welcome to Survival Fountain of Youth. It's a brand new single player open world survival game that came out on April 19th on Steam. The game is set during the Age of Sail during the 16th century and we are shipwrecked while searching for the Fountain of Youth in the Caribbean Islands as part of Juan Ponce de Leon's expedition. And if you're a fan of the survival genre, definitely check this game out. Click on that link down below in the video description to get the game for yourself. And I'd like to thank Twin Sails Interactive for sponsoring this video. So now, let's get to that shipwreck. Okay, survive the shipwreck. I mean, I can do that. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, dang. Um, do I, oh, what's this? Grotto location map. I need to put that in the inventory because we have to go there. Okay, cool. Do I just uh, jump out the window? Ooh, old chest. Oh, I can take two items. What do I want? A navy coat, iron flint. Ooh, I have pistol with ammo. There's an improved fishing rod. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to take the backpack. That sounds good. And I feel like I can move, make the rest of these. So the navy coat, what does that do? Protect me from bad weather and animal attacks. Yes. Okay, jump out the window time. Let's get out of here. Survive this shipwreck completed. Where's shore though? This isn't good. This is not good. Okay, waking up at shore. The weather's clear. Location unlocked. Everything's looking good. Oh wow, that captain door got ripped apart. Oh dang. That's pretty though. Look at this place. Oh, the steering wheel. Find the survivors. I can do that. I can also build up a super cool shelter. Find the picture grotto. How about uh, we'll just take a coconut too? Maybe some yellow leaves? Oh look, there's a crab. Hmm, I need to find a pokey thing to, to make that crab go in my belly. Speaking of things that can go in my belly, here's a shell, and if I remember right, if I go crafting in food, we can eat that. Well, we can craft it. It takes 10 minutes to get that out, and then uh, inventory, we can start snacking on the mollusk. Eat that raw. Delicious. Can also open up that coconut to get coconut water and drink that to get fully hydrated. All right, cool. So I think I'm just gonna gather a few more of these. I'll need to make a, probably a stone ax and stuff pretty quickly. Can I just knock on these trees and be like, hey tree, can you give me your resources? And then everything's like, yes. Also another coconut, delicious. Although if I were stranded on an island, I'd probably get a board of coconuts after like the first week. But this place looks nice. Check out this area. We should make a little house somewhere. Should I look at the map? Oh, start the mapping process to find resources. I probably need to do that. I also want to knock on these trees to get a few pieces of bark and small sticks. Because if we're going to make an axe, we probably need some sort of stick to attach that axe to. I think I hear a chicken. Is there a chicken over? Oh, hello? There's a chicken. Hey, also there's stones, so I'm going to grab those. Nice. More blueprints unlocked. That chicken is scared of me. A massive stone. We're just gonna pick that up and carry it around. It's leg day today. I'm not gonna lie though, this looks like a decent area to park up a camp. Although there is no water here, but I think we should be able to build something in the future for that. Let's get some camel meal, make some nice tea, and we can get some coconut. Let's get the regular coconut for water too, because we are pretty dehydrated. All right, it's crafting time. We need some stone axes. We'll make one of those to begin with. We probably need a fire starter too for that spindle. And some buildings. A smoke snaggle. We can make a primitive bed of leaves. That sounds good. Box made of branches. Some fences. I wouldn't mind making a better bed though. Like this hut made out of leaves. If we start finding some of these other things, rope and long sticks, we should be able to build that. Let's make a primitive bed quickly. We'll do that in the shade here, because that sounds like a good place to go. Good, so we have a little shelter area. Ooh, cleared out all of the grass around it. Next thing I want to do is build a campfire with stones. We'll build that right over here next to the rock. So it's out of the wind a little bit. Wow, that took most of the day too. Okay, we'll try to grab this tree. And I'm guessing we get the long sticks out of this one. Cool. Good, more buildings unlocked. It is getting close to nighttime. Do I want to? I'm not going to do that. Let's just, you know, go to bed. Sleep for nine hours. I'm gonna lose 60 food. <sighs> Ooh, maybe I should craft one of those wooden spears first. Uh-oh, <laughs> I also hurt myself. Really? You got a minor cut? Please don't do that. I know it's dark o'clock outside, but we're going chicken hunting. There's one right there. We're gonna creep up on this thing. Ready, aim, spear. Yes, yes, we got a chicken. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. We're having fried chicken tonight. Oh, animal carcass. It's okay. We can select the eggs and the meat from it. That's a little bit weird. No suitable tool, I need a cutter. Can I have my spear back anyway? I gotta go make a cutting thing real quick. Hold on, chicken. Don't go anywhere. I didn't need to run all the way back to my base. There we go. Delicious. So let's ignite the fire. 
Good. Now we can interact with it and start cooking some stuff up. Fried eggs and chicken. That sounds good. Oh, I needed two eggs, though. Whoops. Well, I guess we have roasted meat. Times two. And I can eat it. Oh, that's a nice way to end the day. We'll spoil in seven days. That's fine. Okay, can we extinguish this fire? We don't need that to waste our resources. We're just gonna sleep until morning now. Very good. That was a good first day. I think it's time to start building a shelter, though. So we're gonna gather a few more branches. I guess we'll be able to build things in this game like actual muskets and real ships, too. So that's really cool. I just really want to gather everything that I can. I'll be real honest, I'm pretty much a hoarder when it comes to games. I just like to keep everything. Oh, nice! Took down the crab! I'm gonna take down another one. Watch this, we're gonna throw a Hail Mary for a touchdown! Uh... That almost sounded like thunder. A little bit creepy, I don't like that. Wonder if I can take anything else off the shore here. I never even looked if I could take like the steering wheel. Oh, cut it down, yes! Wait, I have an ax. Good. Thank you for the sticks. Here's some more mollusks to snack on. Oh, nice, more scrap. Oh, that gave us a rope and uh, three more sticks. Excellent. I kind of feel bad for my fellow survivors, but I mean, I'm just gonna rip everything apart and keep all the resources myself. Ooh, ropes, I need that. Uh, more sticks, sure, whatever. And I'll grab some ferns. Ooh, the wide leaf structure, that's cool. Look at the butterflies, they're pretty. Okay, the real question is, do I need another chicken right now? I think I have plenty of food with the crabs. We're gonna leave the chicken be, but I will definitely roast some crabs on my fire. Good. Oh, this is good too, I can make a bandage. That's probably a good plan, since I plan on probably not being injured, but it's gonna injure me anyway. Ooh, roasted crabs will taste good. Let's eat those quick. And then we'll eat the last of the mollusk. Our food is full, which is huge. We also have coconut water, so we can fill that up pretty well. Plus 30, yeah, perfect. Ooh, I can also make a box. I like boxes because boxes indicate that I can store things and that makes me able to hoard things better. Yay, I can hoard things. Like my massive stone I've just been carrying around. <laughs> so I've got a feeling that I need to gather some sort of like a rope or a reed. And if I can do that, then let's see. Nope, that's still more ferns, but maybe nettles, uh oh. Nettles aren't good. Nettles might make me sting. But I need to make rope, so if I cut down plants, then I can make rope. Can I have fern rope? There's a word I don't know how to say. Ikeko? This is what I would do if I was really stranded on a deserted island. I'd just be eating everything, see if it's tasty. Be like, nope, that one poisoned me. Don't eat that again. What was that noise? That's a mosquito, I know what that noise is. It's like, oh, a delicious mushroom. I'm gonna eat that. See what kind of funny colors I can smell. Ooh, hibiscus. Another blueprint. Awesome. Ah, hib hibiscus petals help with the flu. That's cool. What kind of a bush is this one? Sage. Hmm. I mean, whatever. I just gotta grab everything. Oh. Oh, I thought those- I thought those were like animals walking, but it was just the shadow moving through. That was cool. Alright. Oh, what is this? I don't know, but I'm gathering sticks and I need sticks to build some walls. Those look like pokey bushes, though. I don't really want to touch them. As the hunter caressed this rock, a wild chicken has gathered with his friends. Pretty soon, he will be gathered in a campfire and eaten. Oh, no, it missed. That's okay. I just need my pokey stick back. Give me that back. Okay, this is a new type of whatever that is. Ah, okay. Uh, don't like it. Ah! Ow, bro. What have you... Get dead, get dead, ah, get out of here. Weird badger, squirrel skunk, short eared dog thing. Put you in my inventory. It's gonna pick up the old critter coming with me. Ow, he bit me though. I was just trying to find some grass so I could make rope. Bird of paradise, that's a flower. We're gonna take all of that, thank you. Or you know I'll take this because there's the stuff we need. It was a vine, ow, an animal is hunting me. What, why is there an animal hunting me? No, I don't like this right now. We got paranoia and junk setting in. Let me grab the stupid tree bush. No! Sounds like there's something in the tree though. All right, we need to find another vine. Or I can run back to the, stop it. Pokey stick in the jungle. Whoa, there it is. There's a snacky boy. All right, here's a snack. Whoa, that might be two snacks. Okay, I uh, dibs. 
Stupid snacks. Ow, bro, why do you keep doing this? Ow. Thankfully, I didn't take too much damage. I want that though. Can I have your rattle? Let me go play with it. Okay, now can I get those vines? It's sufficient tool their ability. Ah, I'll just make an, I don't have another stone on me. Great. If I were a stone, I'd be hiding in the stones. Can I have a stone pile, please? Ooh, what is this? Why is that music getting tribal? Whoa, whoa, there's a giant packer flying around. Okay, you know what? On second thought, let's just uh, grab these. Oh, he's back. Yeah, get. Okay, we want to. You want to fight, bird? You want to fight? I'll eat you too. Ready? Get set and poke. Ow. I hit it. I hit it. I'm taking more damage than the bird is, though. The stupid pecker. Ready? Get set. Fight. Oh, I got it. I hit it again. Ah, oh, there's a badger dog after me again. Okay, you know what, badger dog? You bad dog. Down boy. Play dead. Roll over. Run away. Help. Help. <laughs> Things are happening. Right. Oh, that's a massive rock. I wonder if I get. Oh, there's some baby rocks. I need these for a scientific. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Where are you, doggy boy? I just gotta beat you up with a broken stick axe thing. Get back. Yeah. Put you in my inventory with your friend. Now give me some sticks. Not another one. Where are you? Okay, repairing that thing. Would you guys and your stupid bird dogs leave me alone? Can't a man just collect his vines in peace? Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that, 10 of them. There's another one in here somewhere. I just about thought that was a seal. <laughs> nope, it's not a seal. It's like a termite mound or just a broken off stump. I'm kind of excited, bringing that haul back home. Ooh, roasted short hair, I don't know about that. Sounds not so nice. I don't like eating dogs. But I'll gladly add some fuel. Ignite the fire, please. Oh, it worked. And then roast it up. Mmm, delicious. Oh, it brings me a little bit of water, too. That's kind of cool. Well, that was a successful trip. Oh, neat. I can make hats and stuff, too. And a little backpack. That's awesome. I really just wanted this bed of leaves, though. Can I... Do I have enough in here for a, a nice bed of leaves? We got three. I think it was five, wasn't it? Of course it was five. Ah, where's another tree? Dear tree, give me the leaves that I need. Also, I think I have poison right now because there's a status effect. Minor poisoning. Take medicine. Process scorpion venom. Of course that would be. Oh, character status, also near death. Well then, so I can change this bed. Let's disassemble it. I get, oh, I get things back. That's awesome. We'll throw all of those on the floor because I was too lazy to pick them up and put them in my inventory. And now I can build a nice bed of leaves. Place that puppy down right there. Yes, please. And ta-da. Takes an hour and a half. I don't care. I'm not. We just need to build that so I can sleep. And now we'll sleep for seven hours. And now I'm not as completely exhausted. Yay. That was cool. I want to build walls now. Like for real, for real. Also getting thirsty again. Do I have any more coconuts? I don't. Hmm. But I'm guessing if I build some of these ropes, let's do all ten. I have six. If I do all of these, then I can study them. That'll also give me the ability to build other things like workbenches, carpenter benches, a skin dryer. Sounds terrifying. There we go, a canopy. Oh, dirty. Okay, we need better sticks and more narrow leaves. And that's to get myself out of the sun. That's also why I built my shadow or like my little area in the shadow here. I want to build a house so bad. I also just really need to build my leaves, my leaf clothing, because it sounds super fun. Oh yeah, we got that leafed hat on with my leaf skirt. Can I go into third person mode? I hope so. My goodness, man, these dogs are just rabid on this island, but I think I found some fruit, so that's cool. Whatever, block it. That was the wrong block button. It just bit me and ran away. Oh, you stupid dog. Oh, I'm just gonna punch it to death now, because where did my, yeah, get wrecked. My ax must have broke. Come back here. I'm hobbling towards you and it's punch you right in the tail. Or you know, it probably could. Where did it go? My axe is gone. Did I throw my axe on the ground? That's terrifying. Here I am in an epic battle with a doggy boy. My axe disappears. I did try to block with my right hand. Ah, uh, small stick, not the right one. Oh well. I just really want oranges. Give me them. I need to drink my orange juice today. Gotta get that vitamin C. So much better. And, uh, okay, that just needs to be repaired. All right, not as bad as I thought. 
Please, more oranges. Thank you. I don't want to catch this scurvy. You know, this game is about being shipwrecked and all. Okay, I'm super excited now. I should be able to build a canopy. Let's place this down. Ooh, it's nice and big. Good, this is a good new working area for me. We'll place that there, interact with it, place all of my resources, and an hour, 26 minutes? That's not so bad. Yes, a new shelter. Okay, my energy is almost gone, plus I'm pretty injured from fighting those raccoons. So let's sleep for a nice cool eight, I mean 10 hours, and now it's raining. Thankfully, I built a shelter. I really wanna move my, my, that, yeah. But I think next I should really work on my workbenches and stuff. Oh, that's perfect. We're gonna place that down right here. Definitely build that thing up. Is it still be raining? Nice. Interact with it. Oh, cool! I can make better things, like a stone spear plus a weak bow. That's good. And then a carpentry bench needs a common log. This one should be good, a long stick. I've been using a lot of long sticks. Ah, restocks later. Did I pick these long sticks? Yep. Thankfully, I'm wearing leaves on my head, so I'm not getting as wet as I could. Oh no, my disease is worsening. That's not good. And I just got bit by a snake. Let's not go into that forest again. Oh, this is interesting. I just found a cave. And there's a dead whale over here? Hmm. I wonder if I can find anything on the whale for, uh, use. Like, can I make a bone spear or something? What is this? Oh, neat. Ancient hunting drawing. Uh-huh. Drawing tablets. Depicted here, natives crouch and sneak up on animals, but seem the animals do not hear them. Approach the animals from behind, obviously. Cool. That was good. Is that how they got this whale? They snuck up behind it? They crouched down? Probably not. That wouldn't make any sense. But there was a cave there. And what is that creature? Ah, oh, it's another one of those dogs. I don't like them. I just want long sticks. Can I just please have more long sticks? No! Leave me alone, long-eared dog. Uh-huh. Just got bit by another snack. These are not the sticks I'm looking for. Although I did find a square rock. It's cloudy out today too. Square rock doesn't matter right now. Why are there so many of these dogs? Get out of here. I'm gonna pick a polenta. Ooh. <laughs> or some of this green leaf. We'll take that too. What was that? Something flashing over here. I'm gonna go inspect it. Against my better judgment. There's all sorts of things that want to kill me in this forest. And I just want long sticks. I just want to build a house to survive. And the game's like, no. Shiny rock with face on it. Must touch the shiny rock face. I don't like this. I'm scared. I'm scared of touching it anyway. Ooh. Okay. So detailed information. The Song of the Golden Age. Interesting. So the question is, can I cut down one of these trees? Axe durability, my stone axe. Okay, if I repair my stone axe, an animal's hunting me again. Of course it is. Why do things constantly want to hunt me? I've done nothing to them, except the dogs. I did do something to the dogs. And those two snakes. I forgot about those two. Okay, so let's try to cut this one down. Stone axe durability. It will not grow back. Deal. Ooh. I got a big old chunky log here. All right, log, let's go home. You know, I probably could have uh, logged this log. Oh, that just gives me regular sticks? Really? <laughs> Alright, what about uh, the stump? If I cut down the stump, it gives me a half log. Okay, how about I just take my big log home? I have a full log. I don't need a half log. Great. And I see one of those other dogs just running towards my house area. Should be right behind that rock. Makes me think I should build some walls around here so they can't get in. Mission complete. The log has been brought home. That's a good day, uh, good way to do my leg day. Also, I'm wondering, hey, stop. If I put this on here, <laughs> I don't know if that works. It doesn't work. But according to this, if I make the improved workbench and a saw, then I can chop that into long sticks. I could also build fences around my house. That could be a good idea. But it looks like I can build the carpentry workbench, so let's place one of these down. Maybe in this corner? Sure. And then if I interact with it, I'm gonna give you all the resources. I guess, uh, add the item. And now we should be able to build. It takes two hours to build. Very good. Oh, nice! Now I can make split locks, half logs, and, uh, hollow logs. Also, it has some storage. Cool. And I can upgrade it to an improved workbench. If I have a copper ingot, a split log, a common log, wow, all sorts of things. Can I upgrade this too? I can. I just need a split log for this. And I can make fishing poles and stuff. That's cool. 
Now, I am wondering if there's a torch. I haven't seen one yet, but if we view that grotto location, it looks like I need to go into that cave that we saw before. Now, it is getting to be nighttime, and I need to put this into my house. Let's just change this. I'm going to dismantle. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cancel. I want to move it. There we go. Let's just move this inside where it's nice and dry. Yeah, that'll work better. Now we'll sleep in here for nine hours. And the rain is gone. Very good. I do want to make a stone spear too, though. So let's place this down, work on it, and then we'll go hunting for breakfast. Yeet. Really? I'll just punch it to death. Come back here, chicken. Yeah, get wrecked. Uh-oh. Where did my spear go? There it is. Oh, chicky, chicky. There you are. Where are you going over here? Oh, yeah. I was supposed to, like, crouch down and sneak up behind them like they did with the whale. Ooh, I'm getting stronger just by walking on my knees. Actually, I don't think I need to hunt chickens because I should have a dog in my inventory. A little bit weird. So let's add some fuel. Start it up. Please ignite. Yes, we can roast up a... I hate to say it, a dog. Craft up some coconut water. Maybe even make a coconut flask if I can make another rope. I forgot I could eat these things too. Let's eat all of them. Give me that indigestion chance. Drink some of the water. Repair our stone axe. Drop some more junk from our trunk off. I actually think I'm going to use one of these bandages. Just because I'm not too happy with my health chances right now. Plus, there's these stupid raccoon dogs everywhere. You know what? We're going to try to spear it. Oh, nice. That worked better. If I was a thinking man, I would have made two stone spears. Okay, so there's that whale carcass, and I'm guessing this is the cave again. I'm sorry, it's getting dark, but thankfully with editing, we can make it slightly brighter. Also, what are these? Puffball mushrooms. I thought they were going to be potatoes. and be like, bro, why are there potatoes in here? Okay, this looks good. Take the letter on the wall. Oh. Hmm, unfinished region map. Okay, so that's where we sunk. Interesting. Ah. All right. On this map, Ponce de Leon marked the approximate location of two water sources in the coastal grotto and is where a place where he lost his spyglass. The captain says that the spyglass remained in place where Firefly are visible at night. Island of Hope. Interesting. So there's water on the map. I'm a little scared. Find water. Oh, there's all sorts of different letters here. Yeah, he survived the shipwreck. Nice. The sea curves brought him to this island just a bit earlier before my awakening. Okay, he showed up at the grotto, made a temporary shelter, and started to act quickly and decisively. Oh, distant cannon shots? A signal from one of the other ships. So not all of them sunk. Oh, great. Uh-huh. He packed up and sailed away. If anyone reads this, I am Juan Ponce de Leon, head of the expedition studying these islands, found runes, other ancient civilization. Nice. All right, so there's a lot of lore in here. Living water. <gasps> Ooh, so that was the other idea. Like, the whole backstory here is to find... Ooh, what do I get? A bone? No, thanks. Uh, to find the... What is it? The the well where you're supposed to be able to drink from and then have eternal life or something. I forget what that's called. <laughs> oh, no. The ah, scorpion bite. Oh, balls. I just really wanted to climb up here to see what I could find. I hear more noises. What is this? Is this a, a light coming in? Oh, that's awesome. Hello! Oh, there's another way in. This isn't far away from my house. Why didn't I know that? I was literally right here gathering these trees. I had no idea. The well is called the Fountain of Youth. Duh. I couldn't think of that. So my friends, that's going to be the first video of the game called Survival Fountain of Youth. If you'd like to check out this game, make sure you do click on that link down below in the video description. The developers intend to perfect and polish the game alongside the community. They want players to be part of what actually defines this game as well. So that's super cool. Tons of updates planned. I think there's two of them in the works already with like lots of ancient puzzles to solve and other fun stuff too. So make sure you do check out this game if you're a fan of the survival genre like I am. And uh, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Auto Day, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Epius, Ninja, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Sarnoff, Maxer, Ralph, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Sakarzmarex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Endless, Splatter Sax, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Corian, Brad, Dalton C, Sikander D, Grayson, Alvora, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Kodino, Ah, and Fussy Badge 9.